Good afternoon to all. So today we will see shear center of closed sections. How to locate the shear center of closed sections experimentally. Okay. So this is the cross section of the beam. This is a D section we call it as. Okay. So it has got certain uh, dimensions, geometrical dimensions. And if you look at the geometrical dimension, we call this as a top and bottom flanges. This is 25 millimeter top and bottom. And here from top to bottom, the web height is 72 millimeter. Okay. So this is a semicircular one, semicircular one. Okay. So having a diameter, uh, I mean the radius, 36 millimeter and two millimeters the thickness, uniform thickness, okay, uniform thickness. Just like the experiment that we have conducted or we have seen in the last week, shear center of open sections, just like a similar way, we are going to conduct the experiment here also. Like for example, uh, let us fix the uh, dial gauge here, for example. Okay, we have the dial gauge here and another dial gauge here. Okay. And we knew that the space or the distance between the two dial gauge is nothing but the D. Okay. So this distance is nothing but 18 centimeter, 18 or 180 millimeter. Okay. So here we are going to place the hook or weight hanger on either side. Okay, so the distance between these two weight hangers is nothing but 29 centimeter or 290 millimeter. Okay, so the beam is of uh, cantilever type, cantilever type. Okay, one end is fixed, other end is free. The free hand only, we are going to apply the load and we have placed the dial gauge in suitable locations. Okay. So uh, here on the left hand, we are going to add weight, for example, two kg. We are going to load the entire weight on the left hand side. Okay, so two kg. So once you load this two kg, you note down this reading at the in both of the dial gauges, uh, left hand let it be delta one. And the right hand side, let it be delta two. Okay, so now you transfer for every reading, you just transfer 200 gram or 0.2 kg from the left hand hook to the right hand side. So, like this, you repeat until you reach 2 kg in the right hand and 0 kg in the left hand side. So, remember, we have to neglect the weight of the weight hanger as well as the weight of the beam. Okay. So this is the loaded setup. Okay. So you can see here two weight hangers. Okay. We have to ensure our dial gauge that is that is at uh, zero position. Okay. Both the dial gauges before adding the weights. So here you can see the left hand side, 2 kg, each weighs about 200 gram. So 10 numbers are there. So we have to shift the weight from left hand side to, to the right hand side, to, like 200 gram or 2 kg, and record the readings from the dial gauge, say delta 1, delta 2. And this is the table column. Okay, let us take first one, serial number one. Okay, serial number one, for example. Okay, weight on the left hand side is two kg. Weight on the right hand side, WB is zero. Now note down the dial gauge reading delta one, delta two. And you do this calculation, delta one minus delta two divided by D. Okay, so D is nothing but 18 centimeter. Delta one you'll get from the dial gauge and delta two you'll get from the right hand side dial gauge. When you go to the second reading, shift 
0.2 kg or 200 gram to the right hand side and here the weight will be 1.8 kg note down the delta 1 delta 2 calculate this so like this you repeat the experiment till you reach 2 kg on the right hand anger hook anger that's a weight anger And here in the right hand side, extreme right hand side, you could see the column where you get the experimental value of uh, E. EAB is nothing but the distance between the hooks, but it's nothing but 290 millimeter. WV is the total weight acting on the beam, which is fixed throughout our experiment, 2 kg. WA and B, WA, WB, it keeps varying for every step or for every repetition of the experiment. So you can see here the uh, entire weight is being shifted to the right hand side okay 2 kg so let me show a video of this uh, experiment how it is being conducted so we are not considering the readings that are shown in the dial gauge uh, during the experimentation okay so because dial gauge is having some minor errors okay you just understand how we are conducting the experiment, how we are adding the weights, how we are removing the weights, how the readings, from where the readings are being noted, something like that, okay? So we are not following the readings from the dial gauge during our experiment. So you can see the setup here, okay? Experimental uh, setup. You can see here the experimental setup. Okay, so I ensure that zero reading in both dial gauges. We just follow how the experiment is being conducted. Okay, we are not following the dial gauge readings. Very very important. So now we are going to add weights on the left hand side book. It is two kg. 10 numbers of each 200 gram. Okay. Ten numbers, okay. Each two hundred grams. So we are ensuring zero reading the dial gauge. Thanks. If you remove one weight and note down the dial gauge readings, delta one, delta two, enter the tablet column. So repeat this experiment. So please note that we are not following these readings.
Okay, now the total weight is shifted to the right hand side. So this is the manual for the consent experiment. So as I told you already, you can see the dimensions apparatus required this is a diagrammatic representation. And this is the procedure to be followed. And these are the readings obtained. Okay. This experimental formula. Okay. WB is a 2 kg. AB is 29 centimeter. And this is the plot we have obtained here. So this point, so this location is the shear center location. The line where it intersects with the vertical axis. So this is nothing but a 9.0. 76 millimeter the shear center location for the given section for the given loading. So, experimentally, we have arrived this answer the experimental location of shear center for the given closed section. Thank you.